I'm Dr. Doug Bartles, an orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine physician with Mayo Clinic Health System, and I'm here to answer any question you may have about meniscus tears. Uh, surgery is not always needed. Um, you know, there. Um, I'm surprised sometimes. You know, when we go back in for second look procedures, if we have to go back into the knee of the the meniscus's ability to heal itself in certain situations, and then there are other times where we're certain that the meniscus will heal and it and it hasn't healed. It's a little bit finicky in terms of its ability to to get it to heal, um, but there is some healing capacity. Um, Oftentimes in the, in the setting of an acute injury within an, an ACL um, or an isolated meniscus tear, uh, especially if they're you know, a young active person to help with the long-term health of the knee, we will have to go in and surgically manage those meniscus tears. Um, kind of on the, sa uh, the same token, not every meniscus tear needs surgery, especially those more degenerative type meniscus tears. Often respond very, very well to non-surgical management. So making sure that you know the musculature is all, there's no muscle imbalances, making sure that we're strong in the core, the hip, the quad, um, making sure that we've maximized medication management, braces and sleeves, injection therapies, all of those things can go a long way for certain types of tip meniscus tears, especially the more kind of degenerative tears. Yeah, so a meniscus surgery is usually an outpatient procedure. Um, most of the time it is done all with arthroscopy. Sometimes we have to make little incisions around the knee to actually fix it appropriately. Um, but it's usually an outpatient surgery. Again, oftentimes we see that when we're doing other procedures around the knee, like an ACL reconstruction. Um, surgery itself doesn't, you know, it's, we try and make it as minimally invasive as possible. Um, you know, because the meniscus is a little bit more difficult to heal, oftentimes will limit people's weight bearing in the post-operative setting, which can be a little bit different from some of the other procedures that we do. Like if it's just an ACL, we let them walk right away. If we have to, to fix the meniscus to allow it the best chance at healing, oftentimes I'll limit weight bearing for a short period of time. So people will use crutches, we'll still get them enrolled in physical therapy, we'll still work on range of motion and other things to, to move along the, the rehab process. Usually in isolated meniscus um, surgery, people can expect to be back to sport probably around four or five months, I would say. To learn more, please click on one of the links on the screen or in the description below.